Zamru, Zamru, I will sing. Zamru, Likit Miran, one, two, eighty two. Zamru, Lay, Lay, Kai, Beoidi. I will sing to my God with the little I have left. I will sing to my God with the little I have left. Boy, Mat, Vi, Ein, Rosho. Vis, Banam, Tom, Akoi, Moi, Vi, Ein, Nani. And in, but, and, and, and in but a little bit, the, sh- the sinner is not. And in but a little bit, the sinner is not. And in but a little bit, the sinner is not. You shall reflect upon his place, and he will not be there. And in but a little bit, the sinner is not. And in but a little bit, the sinner is not. You shall reflect upon his place, and he will not be there. I know, I know, you must judge all people favorably. You must judge all people favorably. Even in the case of a complete sinner, you must search until you find some modicum of good. I by virtue of which he is not a sinner. Of finding this small amount of good and judging him favorably. You rely, you really do elevate him, or you really do elevate him to the scale of merit. You can then bring him to return to God by finding this small amount of good and judging him favorably. You really do elevate him to the scale of merit. You can then bring him to return to God. Oh, this teaching is implicit in the words of the psalm. And in but, and in but a little bit, the sinner is not. You shall reflect upon his place, and he will not be there. The verse is telling us to judge everyone favorably. Even if you see that someone is a complete sinner, you must still hunt and search. You must still hear your yell hunt. And serve a virgin till you find some little bit of good in him. Oh, you never in the place, oh, where this little bit of good exists. That person, yeah, yeah, is not wicked. Oh, this is the meaning of the words of the psalm, and in but a little bit, the sinner is not. In other words, you must seek out the little bit of good that still remains in him. For in that place he is not a sinner, though he may be wicked. Is it really possible? Is it really possible? Though he may be wicked, is it really possible that not even a modicum of good exists in in him anymore? Could it be that he never once carried? Could it be that he never once carried out some mitzvah or did something good in his entire life? By finding a little bit of good in him, at which point he is not a sinner, and then judging him favorably, you really do elevate him from a position of good, of guilt, to one of merit. Oh, yeah, as a result, he will return to God. Thus, in but a little bit, the sinner is not. I'm oh, finding in the sinner a little bit of good, where he is not wicked yet through this. You shall reflect upon his place. And he, he, he will not be there. I, when you reflect upon and examine his place and level, he will no longer be in his original place. For by finding in him a little bit of good, I you saw a good point, and then judging him favorably, you genuinely move him. You genuinely move him off the scale, or you off the scale of guilt and onto the scale of merit. Or you shall reflect upon his place, and he will not be there. I understand this well. Oy, na, 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 na,
ای نخمان میومان ای نه نخ نخ اون و و بخمو ای نخمان میومان ای نه نخ ای نخمان ای نخمان میومان ای نه و و و نه و و نه و و و خم و و نه من میوم نه 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 من نه من میوم نه 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 من میوم ای نه نه نخمان میومان ای نه نخ نخمان نخمان میومان You must also find this good point within yourself <clears throat> It is a known principle that one must try to be happy always and keep far away from depression. This point is emphasized throughout Rabbi Nachman's writings. It may be that when you start examining yourself with wealth, you may think you have nothing good in you at all. You see that you are full of sin and the evil one. Hebrew Baal Dover, literally master of the word, this refers to the evil inclination that speaks inside each person. Oh, you see that you are full of sin and the evil one wants to push you into depression and sadness. As a result, even so, you must not allow yourself to fall, not on any account. Instead, you should search until you find that little bit of good within yourself. For how could it be that you never did a single mitzvah or anything good in your entire life? You may start to examine your good deed only to see that it is also full of blemishes and devoid of purity. The very mitzvah or holy act I see to have been prompted by impure motives and bound up with improper thoughts and numerous flaws. Even so, how, it is, how is it possible that this mitzvah or holy did can, contains not even a modicum of God? Or some good point must be there. You have to search until you find some modicum of good in yourself to restore your inner vitality and attain happiness. You have to search until you find some modicum of good in yourself to restore your inner vitality and attain happiness. And by searching for and finding some little bit of good that still remains in you, you elevate yourself from the scale of guilt to the scale of merit. And then you can return to God, and in but a little bit the sinner is not. Or you shall reflect upon his place, and he will not be there. We have seen that we have to judge others favorably, even the wicked, and find their good points, so as to elevate them from the scale of guilt onto the scale of merit. The same teaching applies to the way a person relates to himself. You must judge yourself favorably, and find the good points that still still exist in you, this will give you the strength to avoid a complete fall into despair and indeed recover your inner vitality and bring joy to your soul and bring joy and bring joy to your soul 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 with a little bit of good you find some mitzvah good deed you once performed in exactly the same way you, you must carry on searching until you find yet another good point even if this good point is also mixed in, with many impurities still you must extract some positive point from here as well and so you must go on searching and gathering together additional good points it is through this that melodies are made I'm Music in essence is created through the separation
distinction of good from evil through selecting the good wind, Hebrew ruach, which also means spirit and rejecting the winds of gloom and despair, to play a musical instrument which is itself a vessel containing air. One causes the air to vibrate, producing sounds. The skill lies in moving, in moving one's hands on the instrument in such a way as to select the good vibrations, the good wind which may music and avoid the bad vibrations, the winds of gloom and depression which create dissonant, dis, dissonance and be noise, which create dissonance and be noise, which create dissonance and be noise when a person refuses to let himself fall. But instead, revives his spirit by searching out and finding his positive points, by collecting them together and sifting them out from the impurities and evil within, the, within him. Melodies are made. Then he can pray and sing. Then he can pray and sing and give thanks to God. Oh, melodies are made. Then he can pray. And sing and give their yings to God. It is a known fact that when a person becomes depressed over his gross physicality and evil deeds and sees how far from holiness he really is, he becomes completely incapable of praying. Oh, he cannot even open his mouth. Depression, sadness, and heaviness weigh on him when he perceives the overwhelming distance that separates him from God. Oh, depression, sadness, and heaviness weigh on him when he perceives the overwhelming distance that separates him from God. By following the path of finding the good points, he can give himself new life. Even if he knows that he has committed oh, ruin, ruinous acts, ru ruinous, ruin, ruinous, ruinous acts, oh, ruinous acts and numerous transgressions. And even if he is aware of his great distance from God, he must nevertheless search through and through until he finds oh, the good points that still exist within him. In this way he can revitalize himself and bring himself to happiness, for it is certainly fitting that one should feel an ever-increasing joy at every good point emanating from the holy nature of his Jewishness, for it is certainly fitting that one should feel an ever-increasing joy at every good point emanating from the holy no nature of his Jewishness, when a person restores his spirits and brings himself to happiness through this path, he will be able to pray, singing, and give it thanks to God. Oh, yeah, Zamra, Lelikab, Yahidi. I will sing to my God with the little I have left. I will sing to my God with the little I have left. I will sing with the little I still find in myself. In accordance with the teaching of the verse. In accordance with the teaching of the verse. In but a little bit. Oh, the sinner is not. By virtue of this good point, I will be able to sing and give thanks to God. By virtue of this good point, I will be able to sing and give thanks to God. This explains the meaning of a Zamru. I will sing, I will sing the songs and melodies that are created by collecting the good points, as explained above, Reb Nosson Rahaitz. Our Rebbe told us emphatically to follow this teaching, for it is a major foundation for all who want to draw close to God and not lose their eternal reward completely, God forbid. In most cases, when a person is far from God, the main reason stems from depression and sadness. Or he becomes depressed when he starts to look down on himself, having seen for himself the great damage he has caused through his actions. Each person knows the afflictions of his heart and his pain, and as a result, he comes to look down on himself, and in most cases, despairs of himself completely. Then he doesn't pray with concentration, and doesn't even practice is what he, he is still capable of doing. A person must use all his intelligence to fight these feelings whenever a person falls in his estimation of himself. It may well
well be true that he performed some bad actions, but the fall itself and the consequent depression and sadness that overwhelm him are nothing but the work of the evil one. The evil one tries to weaken a person's resolve with the aim of throwing him down completely. Therefore, one must be very firm and always practice the teachings of Azamro! To search oneself at all times for some little good, for the good points, etc. In this way, it is possible to revive oneself and become happy again, yeah, 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 yeah. and look forward with confidence to help from God, to help from God, and ultimate success. Only then one will be able to pray and sing. <clears throat> And give thanks to God. I will sing to my God with the little I have left, and return the good and, to, and return to God with true sincerity. Thus, as the Rebbe explains, just as the Rebbe explains, and know the one who is capable of creating these melodies, namely collecting the good points that can be found in every Jew. Every, even sinners can lead the communal prayers. For the prayer leader is called Shliach Sihiber, the messenger of the people, and he must be sent by all the people. His job is to gather every good point oh, he, to be found in every single one of his of the worshippers. His job is to gather every good point to be found in every single one of the worshippers. All these good points must be merged within him. When he stands in prayer, he does so with all this good. This is the idea. When he stands in prayer, he does so with all this good. This is the idea of the messenger of the of the people, the one who, who fulfills this role must have within him this exalted aspect of being able to gather together the good points so that all these points will be drawn to him, merging with him. The one who can compose these melodies by judging all people favorably, even the wicked and those of little worth, through constantly searching and seeking to find good points in all of them, whereby melodies are composed, the tzaddik who attains this level can be the chazan and the people's messenger, leader of the communal prayers, for he has what is needed to be a truly fitting messenger of the people in that all the good points are drawn to him and merge within them and merge within him. He is capable of gathering all the good points yeah, 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 yeah. only that are to be found in each and every Jew, even sinners and no, in every generation. There is a shepherd, a Moses, for Moses was the faithful shepherd, and the shepherd makes a sanctuary, and no little school children receive the uh, undefiled breath, receive the undefiled breath of their mouths from this sanctuary when a child begins to read and enters the study of Torah he is first taught, he is first taught the verse and he called to Moses and he called to Moses in a Torah scroll the word Vayikru and he called is written with the olive seir a small olive this Aramaic term literally means teach the small i.e. the children for a further discussion of the significance of the small olive in relation to the lesson of Azamru the book of Leviticus begins right after the sanctuary in the, de in the desert was erected. God calls to Mo Moses and begins speaking with him from the sanctuary. And he called to Moses. Small children began studying Torah from this point because it is from here that they receive the breath of their, na of their mouths. Here they start to read and enter into the study of Torah and know all the siddiquim of the generation, each and every one of them play the role of this shepherd. For each one of them is, is, is a Moses, and each in his own way makes the sanctuary the sanctuary from which school children receive the breath of the mouths. Likewise, each, each tzaddik in accordance with his nature and the nature of the sanctuary that he constructs has shared
children who recede from their, from their hair, consequent, consequent, consequently each and every side of the generation is a certain number of children who receive the breath of their mouths from him, each child. Each child in accordance with his nature. The sages expressed, expressed this idea when they said, the children are snatched away. Because of the sin of the generation, as it is written, and pasture your kids by the, sha- by the shepherd's tents. Oy, mishka, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. The children are taken instead. Shemit mashkanim of the shepherds by the shepherd's tents. Oy, alludes to where children receive the breath of the mouths from the tents or sanctuaries of the shepherds, the tzaddikim of the generation. Oy, each of whom makes a sanctuary as mentioned above. The one who can comprehend all this, that is, know which children relate to each tzaddik and how much they receive from him and understand all the concepts involved in this and the generations that will come from them to the very end is the one who can compose the melodies mentioned above the, this reveals the hidden me- meaning of what our sages said in the Mishnah and truth they said the schoolmaster sees where the children are reading the schoolmaster Hebrew Chazan which can also, which can also mean cantor and seer namely the one who can compose the melodies mentioned above he can be the chaz in the people's messenger the leader of the communal prayers he sees and knows where the children are reading that is he knows from which sadik they receive the breath of their mouths in order to read and answer into the study of toidur of nahas and ads understand these words well it is impossible to explain everything oh each person's life is unique but this teaching is universal it applies at all times in life in youth and old age the lesson of Azamru can always revive us. Happy are those who take it to heart. Oy na na na